guys, today we're going to be reading Fancy Nancy, Bubbles, Bubbles, and More Bubbles by Jane O'Connor, pictures based on the art of Robin Plus Glasser. Ooh la la, I have splendid news. Splendid is fancy for great. Tomorrow, our class is seeing the big bubble show. Miss Glass has been teaching us about bubbles. Bubbles always come out round, I tell my family. I will prove it. I blow into a square wand. Voila! Round bubbles! I blow into a star wand. Voila! More round bubbles! Then I demonstrate. That means show how to hold a bubble. Dunk your hand in bubble mix first. Later, the bell outside my room rings. Oh no, there is horrendous news. Horrendous means very, very bad. Bree is sick. She cannot go to the big bubble show. I am very sad. It won't be as much fun without Bree there. The next day, all through the show, I think about Bree. I wish she could see the bubble snowfall and the bubbles filled with smoke and a hat made of bubbles that lands on Lionel's head. The finale is the best part. The finale is the best part. Finale is fancy for the end. It is a bubble ballet. The dancers make giant bubbles that float to the music. It is magical to watch. At home, there is a message from Bree. More horrendous news. She will not be back at school before Friday. Was the bubble show great? She writes. I do not want to make her feel bad, so all I write back is, it was pretty good. That night, I perform, that means act, for my family. I dance like the dancers in the finale. Then suddenly, a bubble goes pop inside my head. I have an idea. Miss Glass and the kids think it's a splendid idea. We make up a bubble dance. We leap and spin and twirl all over the place. On Friday, Bree is back. The front of the room is our stage. There is a sign. It says, A Bubble Ballet for Bree. Bree sits up front. She is the audience. An audience means the people watching the show. Miss Glass puts on the music and voila! We start dancing. It is not easy dancing and blowing bubbles at the same time. Try it and you'll see. Are we good as the dancers at the show? No. Are our bubbles as big? No. Does Bree enjoy our ballet anyway? Yes, yes, yes! At the end, we bow and curtsy. Bree stands and claps. Bravo, she whispers. She can't shout. Her throat still hurts a little. Bree asks us to do the bubble dance again. This time, she joins in. And guess what? She blows the biggest bubble of all. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.